Hello everybody, my name is Stefan Kraus from Byte the Bytes and in this video I would like to demonstrate to you how to use the sync tool to recreate the terrain that you've done in the standalone version to recreate it inside uh, Unity in this case. So okay, what, what you see here is a terrain that I've done here with the standalone version. Uh, we have some nice filters applied like you know some erosion filters, a ridge filter and a swirl filter. Make it looking pretty nice here. We've done here some uh, some trees and also some grass. If you move in, you can see how we have some grass applied over all over it. So pretty cool. And now the question is, how do we transfer this to Unity as quickly as only possible? So this is uh, quite easy. Um, there is a sync tool button here, and all you got to do is. Once you've done this here, you can just click the Sync Tool button. And Wilker is now going to export all the data that is required by Unity. Once done, that window disappears. They can switch over to the, uh, the Unity editor here and fire up the World Creator Sync Tool, which you can download um, through our FTP server, uh, where you connect through our website. Um, it's a simple Unity package. Just import it and you will find the window here under window World Creator Sync Tool. Do not wonder, I'm using here Unity 5.3.1. It's compatible down to 5.3.1, but it also works with the latest Unity version 2017. And all you gotta do is um, to select the project folder. So said, click here on the button and select the folder of your project, of your standalone project, and inside that folder you will find the sync tool folder. Open it, and now select the sync tool XML file here. Just click on open. Now, here you have a few settings that you can um, use to specify how the sync tool should um, import the world created terrain. So the, the more easy task, that's what I'm going to show you right now, is to first see how large is the terrain at all? So we have a 2048 terrain here with a resolution of one meter. So the final pixel resolution is 248. So now if we move to Unity, you can see we have a, a split threshold here. And this indicates into how many um, tiles the, the terrain that we've done in the standalone version should be split it into when importing it uh, with the sync tool. So at this time, we want to have one single tile which has a resolution of two, 2048 pixels. So we will leave this as is and just hit the synchronize button. Now it takes a while um, because the sync tool now um, is going to import that height map. It's going to recreate that uh, the Unity terrain using that height map. It's going to examine all the other files like how many textures are being used, uh, how many objects, and, and the details and so on. And once done, you can see that now we have a terrain, uh, which is a complete Unity terrain. You see it here, but this is a pure Unity terrain. And the first thing I'm going to do is just adjust a little bit the pixel so we can see that we have exactly the same shape. Let's quickly switch over it. I'm going to select the same view. So you can see it. Here we go. So the, say, uh, the shape is already the same. And now what we gotta do here is to apply the textures and the objects. You, you need to do this only once. So let's move over to the textures. And we have here how many splat maps World Creator supports for now. So we support currently 16 textures at all. So quite a lot. Um, and now let's see how our texture setup was made in our world creator. So we have a green, green, some some kind of a rock texture, again green, and some 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 dirt texture here. So we're gonna set it up the same. If you have exactly the same textures, which which ship free with uh, with a world creator, you can just copy it to your Unity project, and now select the texture, drag and drop into the proper slots. Let's see what we have here. This could be that one here. We have this here, and we have this one here. The last one is this here, that's 
this one. And here we go. Now we've, um, we've applied the textures that we've done just like in the standalone version. Just drag and drop your textures here. You can do the same for the normals. I will, uh, uh, I'm not going to do this right now. It's uh, self-explaining, just select the normal textures and drag and drop them here as required. The next one um, are the objects. So we're switching over to the objects tab here and we do the same inside world creator. So we have three objects here, three different trees. Um, so these are actually the, the Chinese banyan trees from Speed Tree. And I also have it for, for the Unity like here. So I'm gonna select these trees and just drop them into the field. Just drop the first tree down here. World Creator is going to recognize it automatically. We know that there's another tree, so let's drop it in two. And we know there's a third tree, drop it in two. And here we go. Now we have populated our terrain with the trees that we've done inside the standalone version. So now let's see if the locations are quite as they should be. We have significant markers like this one and this here, and we have the same here in Subworld World Creator. So the tree locations are exactly the same. And it looks pretty cool so far. Now, next to the details, um, same here. If you have the details from World Creator, you can just use it in, uh, uh, inside your Unity project as well. Drag and drop the details to apply the detailed stuff on your terrain. So let's move in. Here we go. We have set up two different details. So let's drop them here down too. And we've got the details like the grass on our terrain. Now we have reproduced the terrain inside, World, uh, inside Unity that we've done uh, in the standalone version. It was done very, very quickly and very fast. Um, of course, there's a different rendering. Um, you no effects applied, nothing done here so far. So this is something which is up to you depending on what, what kind of post effects you want to use or what, what kind of atmospheric effects you want to use. So this is quite different, of course. And now let's see what we can do if we, for example, switch or deselect or just, just completely create something different with another seed. So let's create another terrain. We could get just going to change the seed number inside World Creator. And we're going to export that new terrain. Now switching over to Unity again, over to General and hit Synchronize again, just to see and tell them that things have changed. Please um, take them into account and recreate our whole terrain based on the new terrain that we've done in the standalone version. So again, this takes a while and here we go. You can see that it just imported all the terrain that we've done in the standalone again, you can see it quite quite nice. The shape here and the shape unity. And you see we don't have to set up the trees, the textures, everything is as it was before. Now, another thing I'd like to show you is because uh, sometimes you want to create real large terrains, um, like multiple tiles, consisting of multiple tiles. So of course, we do support this. Um, and so World Creator, you could go and uh, create a 10K or 20K terrain and still use the, the, the export function. The only thing that you would have to um, um, consider is how many tiles you want or let's say uh, how large a single tile should be. So let's say this would be our large terrain and want to split it into, into tiles with the size of 512 pixels. So just reduce this to 512 you can see here, it's only one single tile. It's just one single terrain tile in the Unity. And now we want to have multiple tiles, each with 512 pixels. So let's go and synchronize again. Now the sync tool is going to import the data again, split it into, into tiles with the size of 512. It's doing the same for the, for the height map, for the splat maps. It's, it's doing the same for the, for the trees, for the details. Um, and you end up, once done, with a terrain object, which now has multiple tiles. Let's quickly see, here we go. And those tiles now you could use by other, by other assets like WorldStreamer, 
to import into WorldStreamer and stream your tiles to create a larger terrain. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it clarified a few things. Um, uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.